The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Welcome to the Happy Times show for TFNN Holiday Special Edition. Anyway, let's take a look at the FTSE and then also the DAX. You'll notice yesterday they were making beautiful ABCDs to the downside, folks. Now, they're closing, you know, just right after we start opening. And so it's a... Uh, it's a pretty big deal, the fact that it did that. Uh, one of the questions I'm coming is why, you know, even if I've been bearish, and I'm still a little bearish, but the uh, not as much as yesterday, of course. But uh, they, I want to give you an idea of what I was looking for when I thought the bottom was in. I'll cover that in a little bit. But uh, the main thing I wanted to do this morning was to go through the, the FTSE and the NASDAQ to show you those ABCDs. You know, they, they work in any market that's big and active and everything. Now, the other one that's very, very important, I want to get this up here for you to see it because we've got a lot, lot to cover today. And I'm hoping to get it done if I can. And if I can, I'm pretty sure I can. So let's keep moving along here. All right, let's go on to the NASDAQ. And then I'm going to move on to the this NASDAQ. NASDAQ, folks, you'll see here, this does not look that bearish. You know, we've got a possibility of a Santa Claus rally. You know, the odds are 73% that it'll be higher by January 4th than it is now. So uh, watch that. There's a possibility. The NASDAQ has held up relatively well. You know, we made lower lows substantially, and the Russell went down two standard deviations yesterday, folks. That was very unusual, but it held. It didn't go any below that, and that was when the market really started to rally. Now, let's get back to this. We'll do... Let's do Nike first. We've got a request here from Mr. Bo about Nike. I want to bring this up here uh, so we'll be able to take a look at this stock. I don't trade this stock. I don't use their. I don't buy their shoes. I uh, I use a different brand. But anyway, this is the Nike. We talked about it a couple of weeks ago uh, when it was making the one three five pattern. We went down and we went substantially below the ABCD pattern here uh, yesterday. We gapped down quite a bit, and then the earnings today. Bada bing, bada boom. Look how it went right down to the 61% retracement. 0.68 is almost spot on to 61. We gapped up. We went to the 61% retracement of the high from 0.1, and it's also the 78% retracement from the high on December 6th. Now, this stock is still bearish unless it gets above 172. You know, it would have been a sell at 170, and it would have been, if it gets above 172, it's most probably wrong. I don't know where it's trading now, but that is basically, you've got lower tops. You know, you're basically in a channel. This thing is just reacting really positive to the news. Now, if Bo will be so kind, ah, there he does it, 166. So that's uh, usually it. A question Bo is asking, does the 135 usually include the high bar, or does it shift to the right? on today on five no you've got to include the high bar because the 135 pattern is already completed what we've done now Bo is we've made a second 135 the three now becomes a one the five now becomes a three and the the new high today becomes a five that makes it a new 135 pattern that means lower highs okay and if you were doing this on the upside there would be higher lows that's really all it is I hope that helps if you have any trouble Bo you know you let me know and I'll be happy to uh you know, refer you to uh, the book that I got this out of. Anyway, let's move on to a couple of things that we've been watching that I think are pretty important. Uh, first of all, we, we're going to talk here just about this S&P because we've had a pretty good run here uh, from the bottom. I want to get this up here. Here's where we were yesterday. If you were, remember, we were looking for a possible bottom down at 4508. The low was 45.20. Now, the reason why I covered is the fact that we were down five days. We were very close to the ABCD pattern down in there, okay? And the fact that the AI said that it had a possibility of rallying towards the end of the day, which, of course, it did. So let's just, let's just humor me a little bit, and then we'll go on to the next section that I want to look at. So let's go to the S&P where we were yesterday. I've got these marked down. And I think we'll I think we'll be uh, just fine here. 
uh, as I go through these things, if I can find them, there's one. Okay, now, if we made that number yesterday, now what should it do today? If we made the 382 on Friday and we had a big rally, look at the rally today, folks, 4607. What was the high in the S&P today, boys and girls? Hello, operator, 4607. We've come down. Now we're bouncing around quite a bit. And the thing that really makes me interesting is is look at the look at the action that I received in the AI program this morning. We were supposed to be bottoming somewhere between 10, 30, and 11, right around 45, 74, you know, which is a 61% retracement. I mean, that's not that hard, is it? You know, it's basically what we're looking at. Now, I, I bring a lot of information here. Some of it's good. I guess some of it's not so good because people never react to it. But we'll, we'll look at it in any way and see what's happening. Here was another one that we've been in for quite some time. It's been paying us great dividends. This is the gold. If you notice here yesterday, I, uh, last night, uh, it was, must have been around, well, you can see there, it was around 4 in the morning, New York time, 1 o'clock my time, 2 o'clock my time. You see, I said, take profits in the long February gold that we bought from 1755. We did that at 1799. That was a 382. That was also a perfect short sale at that point. It's already backed off about 15 you know, fifteen hundred bucks from that level, but that—that's—that's that's all that is—is is a three eight two, folks. If you don't do anything in, in your life and you're a trader, God, pay attention to three eight two. You know, it's—it's really—it's really spectacular. Let let me show you, let me show you what it can do. Okay, just just a second. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be beating the horse on this all the time because. Most people just don't give a hoot, and that's okay, too, whatever you like. All right, let's take a look here. This is the Turkish lira, folks. We went from 8 to 18, and this is a daily chart, folks. This is a daily chart. Look at this thing, what has happened. It's went from 18 down to 10. That That is better than a 10% correction, let me tell you that. But let's take a look at this. If you like the theory of 382, Here's what the Turkish lira has done over the last few days. Uh, well, actually, the last few hours, because it topped yesterday. Hold on just a second here. I will get this up here, God willing, and you'll be able to see it. And this is not the most active. <laughs> this is one of the thinner uh, cross, cross racers. And you'll see it run right up to the 382 and then dropped a thousand dollars but that just shows you the 382 you got to pay attention to it that's all you know whether you do or not you know I don't know it reminds me it reminds me of my one of my favorite baseball stories it's it's springtime down in Florida it's 1938 and uh Ty Cobb is there visiting the, uh, the the Boston Red Sox and they've got a young kid up there and he's in the batting cage and he's knocking this ball just all over the place he just wham the ball goes out of the park the ball goes out of the park and uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Tom Yockey, the owner of the Boston Red Sox was standing there with this old timer with his baseball cap on and the old timer yells to the batter. He said, Hey kid, he said, don't lower your shoulder so much and you won't, you know, ground out as much. The kid turns around and looks at him and doesn't say anything and gets back in the batter's box. And Tom Yockey says to uh, the man, he said, Mr. Co he said, Mr. Cobb, he said, you should oh no he said to ted williams he said ted williams he said you should treat mr cobb with more respect it was ty cobb i screwed that up but that's the way it goes i'm not a comedian hey let's get back to business when we come back from our break boys and girls more information god will You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and I posted a chart of the Treasury bonds. So you see they've been backing off even more. They're now down two full handles from the top of that ABCD pattern, point D. Uh, trade went against you a total of about $150, and now it's up, uh, you know, well over 2000 The first objective, of course, was at 161 and uh, the second objective, of course, we've just hit it right here at 160 just a little bit earlier. Hold on. I think we have a caller coming in. And it is Brett from Martinez, California. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Brett, how are you? Brett, you doing okay? I'm doing all right. It was really tough to get through, Larry. I just found out. Oh, there, I don't know how you did it. I'm you know, so I grateful. think I threw, I think I'll give Al another 20 bucks for squeezing you in. How are you doing over there, you pal? Pretty good. I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm traveling the, the cattle country at the moment. I'm up on my hike. Uh, I want to give you a call. I wanted to wish you, Sarah, your family, you know, a Merry Christmas. Happy you too, my friend. You too. It's been about 10 years since we've been working together, hasn't it, buddy? It's pretty close to that. That's been, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I know. It really goes great. That's good. Now, let me ask you a question. Being in Martinez, California, is that where uh, that the congressman that's always on TV, is he from that area? Fresno, Salinas, or is that Mar – where is Martinez? How close to is it? Uh, I, I, yeah, no, I'm, I'm up farther north, probably. Oh, okay. I'm okay. Trying, to, trying to think what the closest town you'd know would be. But I'm probably Fresno. About, from San Francisco, about maybe 20 miles uh, east of wow. that. Wow. Whoa, whoa, well, you're way – I thought you were closer to Fresno than you were San Francisco. Anyway, let's get back to the markets. What can I do for you, my friend? I know you've been doing well with gold, and I heard you go over that a little bit in the previous segment, but I wanted to have you uh, just get your thoughts. Are you thinking it might go back down to that uh, 55, 1755 area? What do you, what's, what's on your mind as far as what you think it's going to do? I, I think it's going to go to 1777. It'll come down to a 61% retracement, and then I think it's going to hold there because silver's starting to pick up a little bit. Some of the others are. That 1755 is such a powerful number, and we went up exactly, you know, two harmonic numbers up there to 1816. And then that, that last night we had a 382 retracement at 1800, and then it's backed off. So that, that ABCD measures to 77, 1777, and I'll be going long. 
around that level, I believe. I'll be sending a video out uh, later this afternoon on uh, what we're looking at there. But that's what I'd be watching. But it's been a great trading. Well, it's always a great trading vehicle. They all are if you if you if you follow the patterns. And sometimes they don't work. You know that as well as I do. But 1777 is what I'm looking at uh, in the gold market uh, with about a you know about an eight or nine dollar stop. You have to like the volatility. It's given us a lot of oh, opportunities. To, all of them. You know, Dude, on, hey, on all the Brent, markets, really. Brent, let me tell you, I've been doing this for a long time. This is a prelude of what to come. 2022 is going to go down in the history books as what we call an OMG year. I mean, it's going to it's going to scare some people. That's for sure. That's uh, basically what I'm uh, – you know what I'm looking for anyway, and I think we're going to start. We start. Look at the S and P; it swings 30, 40 points a day now, and you know that's a pretty good move. But you know, look at you know crude oil. Crude oil swings three and four thousand dollars a day, and that's going to be I the know. top. It uh, definitely gives yeah. some opportunities, though. If you're yeah, right that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. I miss that crude oil. In fact, the topic of my next subject when we come up from the break is the crude oil and how I missed that yesterday. And uh, I wanted to go through the folks, let to see what uh, what I'm thinking and doing as I as I do some of these things. Listen, if you get a chance to come over here, I'd certainly love to see you again, Brett. That would be really great. That sounds great, Larry. Just uh, all the You're best to you welcome. and your family. You're always it's welcome. a pleasure talking with you again. You just take care of okay? it. Happy holidays to you and your family, too, my friend. All right. Thank you. Okay, you bet. Brett Martinez, folks. Or, it's, it's not, it's not, he's from Martinez, California. Anyway, let's move on here. Uh, I've got to talk to you here about the crude oil. We've got plenty of time to cover it. This, this is These are the ones that frustrate me, folks. Let me get this up here. Uh, and it, here is the daily chart of the crude oil. I want to get this up here to show you the fact that the low we made back here uh, on December 1st, that was a 78% retracement of the low that we made way back in April. That's why it was so important. We rallied up. And, of course, you see the first 382 retracement there. That was led to the big break. We happened to be short that one. Not all the way down, of course, but we caught a big chunk of it. And that was also a 135 pattern at that 382. As you can see, that that just uh, one is at your high, the second high, and then the 382 is the number five point. And then you measure the ABCD down to the 78% level. But what I want to walk through you is how frustrating it was for me yesterday because, uh, you know, we have some older neighbors here that uh, we take care of. And uh, I had to do something, uh, you know, it was a right right after the show. And so I had to just take them to the doctor's office because they don't drive. But anyway, let me show you the sequence of events that I saw later in the day. You know, this was because uh, I was looking I was looking for the, the crude oil to, to break down. If you remember, we talked that it could possibly hold at the 382, and it did, only for about a dollar a barrel, 1000 bucks, and then it broke badly. And here's what happened. I'm gone. You'll see here that the time here. This is a uh, this is the hourly chart. I'll show it to you on the inner day chart in just a minute. But this is the this is the 60 minute chart, the hourly chart. There's where we made the 61 percent retracement there at 66.57. Now, if you do like we do every day when we do these trades, is you, if you're looking at a 60 minute chart, it's logical to go down to a smaller time frame to see if you see a nice pattern unfolding. And, of course, I did this in retrospect. And believe me, folks, in retrospect, oh, my goodness, these patterns are absolutely perfect. It's when they're live that they get to be a little bit troublesome. Still workable, but troublesome. Now, I'll take a look here at the crude oil. Now, this is a 15-minute chart, and you'll notice the time. That was right at the time when I was leaving, right at 12 o'clock, right after the show was ending. And I, I wasn't even paying any attention to it. I saw this afterwards because someone brought it to my attention. But there is a perfect butterfly pattern, folks. You've got an ABCD. You've got a 1.27 expansion. you got everything you need. You're setting right at the 61% retracement. And, folks, this puppy has gone all the way up to 7040. That is four thousand dollars in less than 24 hours that's 80 handles in the s p boys and girls that's a lot of moolah a lot of money dinero it's lots of money so anyway keep it in mind that that's uh the way it goes i have a funny story to tell you it's going to be quick got a phone call early this morning from new york and they want to offer me a job as a trader for their hedge fund and i said <laughs> i said you got to be kidding i said uh, you know you uh you, you know you have you have to have an age limit right i said i'm 81 
And he said, no, we don't have any age limit. And I said, no, I said, I'm not interested. I, I haven't worked for anybody for 50 years. I'm not going to start now. And he says, well, what could we do if we come out to visit you? You know, what could you bring, you know, to make us, uh, you know, make, make you least interested? I said, try bringing Al McPherson. <laughs> I was saying it with tongue in cheek. And, of course, I said, no, I said, I, I, if you're having trouble, I said, after the close today, I said, give me a call. And I said, I'll walk, uh, I'll walk, I'll try to walk you to what to do. I said, but, you know, I said, you know, frankly, you know, between you and me, I said, and they're probably listening and they don't, you don't know who they are. It doesn't make any difference. I said, if you're really hurting that bad and you have to call someone 81 years old, I said, you better reevaluate what you're doing, young man. I said, because something's wrong and you got to correct it. He told me how much they were down. He, they were not down very much at all for the year. They were down about 8% when everybody else is up. So that's a lot. Anyway, that's two, that's two for four. Anyway, let's get back. We, I got something really interesting next, folks. It goes back to the history books, and we want to talk about it because it's the winter solstice. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with tom o'brien and using his best-selling book the art of timing the trade your ultimate trading mastery system david white has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology using this first of its kind program the art of timing the trade charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for fibonacci formation setups including gartley's abc's butterflies and much more the art of timing the trade charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, our guest today is none other than Amos Hostetter and Jay Crosp. 
Jay Wurz, the programmer for Commodity Corporation from 1966 to, no, 1965 to 1973, I believe, and they have both passed away. But I want to talk to you. This is natural gas, and if you'll note, I'm going to say a word here, folks, that you never hear me say, and that is moving averages. And I get a bad rap because, you know, people say that I don't think moving averages are any good, and that is not true. They're just not good for me. Okay, I mean, moving. I watch what Basil does. I watch what Steve Rhodes does, uh, and I can tell you these guys know how to use these things. But I'm going to show you something that uh, I'm going to be showing you, and I'm, probably in March I'm going to be doing another another session. I'm not going to give this away for free because it's too valuable. I'll tell you the story behind this. But this is basically a natural gas contract, and what I did was uh, this program will do the you know uh, the things for you, but this is basically an 8 and 21 exponential move, moving average, an 8 period and a 21 exponential moving average. As you can see, is as long as you're above that moving average, it's great to be long. And, you know, that's that, that's one of the advantages of it. What you have to be aware of is when you have these spikes below it, you want to make sure it closes above that moving average. Now, let me go back in history a little bit. Hold on. Someone's asking a question. Maybe they'll bail me out of this, and that would be good. Um, uh, holy cow, we are really lucky today. We got Rich Anderson calling in. Rich, how are you doing, buddy? Doing great. Merry Christmas, Larry. Merry Christmas to you and your family. I certainly appreciate it. I didn't know if you were going to be able to make it this morning. Let's switch over to the grain markets. Rich, tell us about what's happening with this ammonia. Uh, I talk to Doug Schaefer and Simon only all the time, and they're telling me these farmers are getting killed with fertilizer costs and seed costs and everything else. What's going on over there? Yeah, well, it, it's, uh, you know, just like inflation is everywhere, um, the nitrogen, ammonia, you know, the fertilizer things are up 250%. And, and, and to give you some perspective, the last time these fertilizer prices were this high, corn was $8. Well, you know, then you've got a little more room to pay up. But when when you're paying up when the corn prices are five fifty, let let's say, these, the, you know, because they're looking at new crop corn when they're doing find these inputs uh that's that's pretty tough you know they're um they're not exactly pocketing anything and the the rents are going up uh, they'll go up between 10 and 25 percent this year of course most farmers have three or five year leases so not everybody's rent will be going up but if you've got a, a new lease that you have to sign you're it's going up and it's it's uh it's putting a squeeze on things and wow Keep, keep in mind, last year, the the big report, you circle on your calendars, January 12th, last year there was big yeah. curveballs, and the yeah. uh, ending production from the previous year's crop was, what, 280-plus under what they had expected, and the beans uh -huh. were uh, 30 or 40 under. So that's, that's a big curveball coming. Um, the funds are long corn. A huge position for, the, uh -huh. and they're slightly long beans. The the beans are holding up because of the weather in South. Uh -huh. America. We're in a weather market now in South America. Yeah, the largest uh, production region in Brazil has above average rain, but the second and third largest have some of the driest conditions since practically for you know the last ten, fifteen, twenty years. So it's 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 a big deal, and the forecasts are that they're supposed to get yeah. rain in a couple of weeks. Uh -huh. Well, sometimes those forecasts don't materialize. And if you want to talk about inflation, India, in all their brilliance, decided, well, we're just going to close the futures markets. Wow. <laughs> now, I don't know how they think them? that's going to slow inflation. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That, they've actually done that. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's unreal. So you, you, I've always found the markets are fluky in between yeah. Thanksgiving and, and New Year's. And then after we come out of New Year's, then the money, fresh money is going to be coming in, and there'll be fresh money, I believe, allocated yeah. towards the commodity markets as yeah. as part of the macro theme that many of the major money managers, yeah. you know, they'll maybe add 1% or 2% more to commodities. Yeah. But they're, they're yeah. trading with billions of dollars, so it's, yeah. it's 1% or 2% is, is, a, is a lot. And so yeah. that's, that's fresh money, I think, will be coming in, and then you'll have the January 12th thing. The interesting thing in the meats is, well, you've got the Proposition 12 in California that at January 1st, if you haven't raised your hogs with a certain amount of elbow room, 
then they can't be sold in California. Okay. Wow. So w- w- what's that going to do? Well, that's going to make it hard for a bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich in California, but <laughs> uh, there'll be more pork in the rest of the country, and so yeah. at least temporarily, that's not a very good thing for, for the yeah. uh, hog market. And the now, Rich, Thursday's pig crop report will give us something to think about there. Sure. It's not acting good on the charts, that's for sure. Rich, I posted right. a chart of December cotton. Well, excuse me, March cotton. It's March cotton, folks. And anyway, this has been becoming very various. We've gone from 122 down to 105. I mean, uh, we had some nice patterns telling us that it was getting ready to break. Is cotton in the same situation that we have in uh, in corn? Are the, are the commercials still heavily involved in that? Um. Well, I'm not. I'm not really a, a uh, cotton trader. Uh, what we've got is, is in the in the co- cotton market, you you've got the cash market got all tied up. You know, they they then they put a short squeeze on that thing, and that's what that's what ran it up into the highs. And once that short squeeze was alleviated, you know, it pulled back yeah. down. So if this next rally here fails, then it can that can e- easily come down. What we're going to be talking about as we go going into after January 12th report, which will also have supply and demand on, on cotton, yeah. we're going to be talking about what crop is going to buy back acres from what crop. crop. Is corn going to buy acres from wheat? Well, wheat prices are pretty high right now. I don't think so. Is uh, cotton going to buy acres from soybeans? Very possibly. Uh-huh. It, it, you know, so the corn, beans, cotton, and wheat – we only have X number of acres, and how is it going to allocate? And that's going to be very interesting as we go into the uh-huh. USDA's uh, meeting at the end of February. Yeah. But I, well, the way I see yeah. the chart, it's real simple. We've had this nice little pullback now. Yeah. And if the retracement to test the highs fails, then they can, they can easily go back into the, you know, 90s. Uh, the, uh, the, yeah. the, the, the squeeze is over. You know, the, the cash yeah. market was... A bunch of the cash traders got caught in the cotton market, and they tried to they tried to bail themselves out. They didn't get themselves bailed out in December, so then they rolled them into March. And, of course, that doesn't solve your problem. You're still caught, and they had to pay up to get out. Wow. Rich, it's still hard to work in December, isn't it, after all these years? You and I have been doing this forever. We always did half days during December, and I'm still doing it. You know, it's just, it's hard to get do a full day in December. I started that in 1976 at Drexel. We never worked the last two weeks from the 14th, uh, the 15th of December until New Year's uh, Day. We never really worked uh, the last two weeks. The theory was if you hadn't made your money by then, the last two weeks wasn't going to help you much. Listen, well, I want to wish and, you— And more than that, a lot of—back in those days, we had, of course, the floors. We don't have yeah. that today. We have the electronic yeah. trading. Yeah. But if, if a floor trader made his money and made a yeah. bunch of money, he w- didn't want to give it back. So he, yeah. he just probably didn't even bother coming into the exchange between yeah. Thanksgiving Amen. and January 1st. They didn't right, want brother. to give that profit back. Yeah. Hey, did the Vikings win last night? Uh, yeah, but uh, the, the quarterback threw for less than 100 yards. Oh, my gosh. Well, they still won. Hey, Rich, Happy New Year to you, buddy. Merry yeah. Christmas, and we'll see you after the first of the year. We'll be right back, folks, with Tim Boss, Bye-bye. Financial Cycles Weekly. Bye, Are Rich. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. 
David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Tim Bost on the line today. <laughs> ho, ho, you do. <laughs> oh, it's not a ho-ho day for me, buddy. Let me tell you why. I, What's going on? Well, my, uh, there, your slides and everything I know are behind me on my other computer, okay? And I forgot, okay. To, I forgot to move them over. Tim, is there any chance you could come on tomorrow? Because I really want to see the charts, as does everybody else. And I just I couldn't get them out there and put them on the machine here fast enough to show anybody. Would it be possible to be on either Wednesday or Thursday? Uh, we could make that happen. Uh, we've got right. some trade setups for tomorrow. Uh, so okay. we can chat about those and then uh, pop in some uh, some more information. Thursday would actually work better for me than uh, tomorrow because I'm a little bit uh, booked up tomorrow. Let's do it Thursday. Thursday would be okay. great. That's a Christmas Excellent. Eve show, so we'll be happy Excellent. to do that for everybody. But we'll again, uh, bring the jingle the, bells and make that happen. Oh, I, I, I've got jingle <laughs> bells here. I've got. I can't reach it right now, but I do have my little jingle bells that oh, sure. that I have. But uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's really like funny. Sounds like having the kind of day I've been having lately. Oh, it's oh, hard, oh. hard to get the technology to cooperate. Now oh, you, you man, get things I, on multiple computers. It can really be a challenge. Uh, yeah. The but, hold, uh, hold it. Something's got. A, somebody's buzzing me for a question here hold on maybe okay. this it it says uh we can see that no you can't see did you did you put the charts into the room I, i've got the screen share here can you ah, uh, shut the front let's just do it right now go ahead oh, i didn't well, realize we'll, that we'll they've been and, yeah we're all oh. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk I about surrender. Uh, Thursday I surrender. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we've, we've got a I very fortuitous something. time to be connecting here today because this yeah. is, in fact, the uh, the solstice uh, right now on yes, December. Yes, winter solstice, yes. If yeah. That's right. And, and you know, I, I'm calling this the Capricorn solstice to try to, I don't know if I'm being politically hey. correct, astrologically right. accurate. Billy Ray here. Valentine's is Capricorn. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, January 19th, uh, December 19th. Go ahead. Fire away, buddy. What happened? here is that this is the first day of winter but only in the northern hemisphere in the southern hemisphere this is the first day of summer uh, so we don't want to forget our friends uh, down under there <laughs> and, uh, so we're calling it in either case the sun goes into capricorn uh, this time each year and we time the event accordingly uh, so uh, in the northern hemisphere this is the darkest day of the year that simply means that we have uh, uh, most uh, hours of darkness the least daylight hours uh, during a 24 hour period at any point during the year uh, so it gives us a point of focus here uh, this is a, a, a date that wd gan 
have really uh, yes, loved uh, right. uh, paying attention to, along with the, yeah. the start of all the, the seasons. Uh, these are the cardinal ingresses, and he did a lot of his work and timing uh, efforts around that. And the markets like it, too. What we found in our studies right. here is that uh, the markets do tend to uh, rally uh, around the time of the uh, Capricorn solstice, the winter solstice. Uh, and so yeah. as we approach the closing part of December, we have these factors like the Santa Claus rally. We have different ways yeah. of describing what's going on. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, here's the, the S&P goes up pretty consistently. And what we've identified here is an optimum trade uh, in uh, uh, the S&P, whatever instrument you're using uh, to trade uh -huh. that, uh, looks like a real good setup coming in, uh, in uh, taking a long position uh, tomorrow. Uh, on the 22nd of December, and then closing that out uh, next Monday on the 27th, uh, there's a that gives a 71.8% a likelihood of it being a winning trade. So we like it when we can get numbers uh, in, in that kind of percentage range. It gives us a little bit more confidence in our trading. Uh, the 71.8% uh, winning probability here. Uh, not a, a terribly big move coming out of the S&P, a little bit better than half of 1%, but for a couple of days exposed. Uh, that's not too shabby. We think that's uh, uh, you know something decent, uh, you know, worth examining here. Uh, and, and just for fun, we started doing, looking at some individual equities. I, I do a good bit of work uh, in the equities markets and examining individual stocks. This is Apple. Uh, and what happens is that uh, uh, this particular uh, stock tends to bottom out, oh, about a week uh, prior to uh, the, the date of the solstice, uh, but then has a, a decent run up uh, after that. It kind of plateaus a little bit. Uh, and so it's not quite as, uh, as dramatic a move as uh, some of the other uh, things that we've examined here as trading opportunities. Uh, but because it's the, one of the most widely traded, if not the most widely traded uh, individual equity, I thought it would be fun to take a look at that as well. Again, we're setting up for a long position entering the trade tomorrow on the 22nd. Uh, and in this case, we'll hold it until just after the first of the year, uh, closing out the position on January uh, 5th. Uh, gives us a, a, a reasonable uh, run there. And uh, this has a 75.7% uh, probability of, of turning into a profitable trade there. So we like the looks of those percentages. I'd like to get the, the, uh, the wind at our, our back, the, the, uh, uh, the averages on our side. And in this case, uh, we're anticipating a, a run up as much as uh, 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 10 and 3 quarters percent. So this could be a pretty substantial move uh, in Apple. Uh, if you're looking for a, a potential swing trade and are, are, are okay carrying it over the holiday there and, and, and moving it into next year. Some people like to clear all the positions at the end of the year. Uh, so this is one that uh, tags along a little bit uh, there as well. Yeah. And then just uh, to uh, even things out here as well, we've looked at gold also uh, with the Capricorn solstice. Very, very interesting price pattern there. And in doing these charts, what we're doing is uh, going back and backtesting the previous performance uh, from years past when there was this uh, winter solstice occurring uh, and then uh, looking at uh, what the performance has been uh, in these various markets. And what has historically happened is that uh, gold tends to be very, very sluggish going into uh, the time of the winter solstice and then takes off like a rocket uh, shortly thereafter. Uh, so with our pers uh, prospective gold trade, the best uh, one we've been able to, to graph here is, uh, again, buying uh, tomorrow on the 22nd of December. Uh, we'll hold this until uh, the day the markets reopen after the first of the year on January the 3rd. Uh, and so that has an 81.8% likelihood of being a winning trade. Uh, when we start to get up in that range, it, it starts to look very, very attractive. Uh, and we have an anticipation of about a 7 and one third percent uh, gain in the price of gold over that period of time. Uh, so, you know, we, we look at all these, of course, past performance doesn't guarantee future results, but we uh, uh, take our time and examine that past performance performance, and there seems to be a very, very strong correlation uh, with these uh, 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 specific trades across many markets uh, related to this particular uh, point uh, in the year around the time of the winter solstice. Well, I think they're going to charge you with uh, insider trading today, because since you started talking, the S&P rallied 20 handles. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, no, somebody's no, watching the show anyway. It, I know it certainly did. It went from it went from forty five eighty eight up to forty six twelve. Okay. You know, <laughs> yes, I hope you did okay on that one. You you, you buy it right before you say anything. Is that yeah, correct? Exactly. Like I always run do? everything. Yeah. Whenever I get a chance, right? <laughs> always works Just for me kidding. that way, Jim. Yeah. That's for sure. Jim, you know, uh, I I went to uh, Machu Picchu, Machu Picchu, and also to Lake Titicaca down in Peru back in nineteen ninety two. And one of the things they had about was that uh, there's a big deal on that uh, winter solstice down there. Here they got this. I don't know if you people have ever watched any of these things on TV, but there's a city built 14,000 feet. How they ever built that thing, I have no idea, but it's all based on the on the winter solstice. So I don't know what that means, but it's interesting. Hey, can you stay with us, Tim? Yep. We want to get some more. I certainly we'll will. Be right we'll back. talk a little bit about Bitcoin when we come back. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks, with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Tim, anything, uh, any webinars coming up over the holidays that the folks would be interested in? Well, uh, actually, we had a webinar uh, last night, and we're getting the video available uh, to share. Uh, that'll be posted uh, later today, so folks can get access to that. Uh, we do... Uh, I uh, have a link here, uh, just uh, connect with bit.ly slash Tim Larry P, that's capital T, lowercase i m, capital L A R R Y, capital P. So uh, bit.ly slash Tim Larry P with those initials capitalized, that is a case sensitive. Uh, connection there, and uh, that will can certainly we, we can get that 
uh, uh, connected with you so that you can uh, plug into the recording of, of uh, last night's webinar. Uh, so we, we try to try to keep folks entertained and informed along the way. Uh, also, so let's talk briefly about Bitcoin. Because, yes, uh, please do. Lots of questions about that, and there's all kinds of insanity going on uh, over the last 24 <laughs> hours or so. We've seen a, a little bit of a run up in price uh, in uh, Bitcoin uh, that's not really reflected on this uh, uh, particular chart that we have here. Uh, but apparently, what's going on is because of the uh, challenges economically in Turkey and the con uh, the virtual collapse of the Turkish lira, uh, Bitcoin versus the lira is uh, hitting an all-time high there, which caught some traders' attention, and so suddenly there's an interest in Bitcoin again. So uh, <laughs> we have to look at all these markets and their interactions. What we have here is a chart, though, with uh, daily price bars for Bitcoin. Uh, and uh, in the past, we've shared a lot of eighth harmonic analysis. What we're looking at uh, today is actually fourth harmonic, uh, there's a little bit uh, broader focus, and we're seeing that uh, Venus and Kronos are providing uh, key areas of support and uh, trend line indications for uh, Bitcoin in the fourth harmonic as well as the eighth. We've got a little bit of an inset there that shows the eighth harmonic projection. What's been going on over the past few weeks? is that Bitcoin ha has been uh, working its way to find a support uh, on uh, a, a Kronos line here. And so that's what we're uh, working with with this. <laughs> Listen, Tim, we're going to have you on right after the first of the year, my friend. God bless you and happy holidays to you, my friend. All right. We'll talk soon. Have a great okay. holiday, Larry. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Tim. You bet. See you tomorrow, folks. May God bless.